All right, we're talking about flowers. Some woohoo. I mean, Catherine does know a little bit about that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hethwin, and we are back to play some more of our 100 baby challenge with our matriarch, Catherine, who in our last episode had yet another set of twins. There's a high likelihood that they are probably also mer people. We have been a, kind of collecting occult sims in the game with Catherine and having her woohoo with other cult, occults and seeing how many we can come up with. In the house currently, there are two werewolves. They're teenagers, which means we definitely have to deal with like werewolf issues. They just became teenagers, so we haven't really played with them yet. So who knows how that's going to go. There is a toddler who is a mer person, and then there are two babies who the baby donor was a mermaid. So there is also a high likelihood that they are mer people. Fun times, interesting things happening all around. So we're gonna not waste any time and get over here and get into our game. I don't remember if Catherine is even pregnant, if I'm completely honest with you. Are you pregnant? You are not pregnant. So today, order of business, is to get Catherine pregnant again. We do have, all right, and I think we'll have some birthdays happening today as well. Let's see, um, Simon, who is our mer person, where is he at? Oh my goodness, he just needs to finish his potty skill and he will be ready to age up into a child. So I think we're gonna see Simon age into a child. I think we're going to see Tessa and Gregory, who are our most recent set of twins, become toddlers. I don't think we will see Trevor and Autumn move out because they just became teenagers. So they have still have to get an A and they're going to be dealing with werewolf issues. So Trevor is an anti-capitalistic canine. Ever since the beast awakened, doubts about societal norms have begun to stir. The sim now rejects the daily grind and will gain extra fury if forced to partake in this endless crushing rat race. Awesome. I wonder if that means going to school. And then Autumn has survival instincts. These sims seem to have an extra sense for danger, gaining additional fury when scared or tense. Try extra hard to keep them and try extra hard to keep themselves physically safe. I don't know what that means. Okay, now, Catherine, let's look and see how are we on potential baby donors. I think Paolo was next on our list. Yeah, I think Paolo is the next one because uh, we've got like a full romance bar with Paolo. So let's invite Paolo to hang out at the current lot and we'll have Catherine woohoo with Paolo. And of course, we have a crying baby. At least Catherine is like fully maxed in her parenting skill so she can do super efficient baby care to tend for the babies and that definitely makes some things a lot easier all right so paulo is here let's go let's see what do we does she want to do oh get engaged you can't get engaged for well for one thing paulo's married for another thing you are not allowed to get married so no you're not getting engaged to paulo all right, let's go and try for pregnancy with Paolo. Oh no, Catherine is hysterical. Okay, before we do that, let's go and calm Catherine down. We really do not want our matriarch dying quite yet. I do have aging turned on. There are 12 days until Catherine is an elder. So we have 12 more days of Catherine and getting her pregnant. So, all right, let's try for pregnancy with Paolo now that she's calm and see if we can get baby number 17 on the way. You guys need to get some skills up. It is the weekend. They won't be going to school, so there will be time for them to work on their skills and all of that. So this is an opportune time to get some skills happening for Trevor and for Autumn, as well as getting some of their character values within range to earn those character traits. All right, they have woohooed. Let's go and take a pregnancy test and see if Catherine is pregnant. Catherine is not pregnant. <sighs> okay, here we go. I have never had a sim where I have had like so much trouble getting them pregnant. We've had a lot of failed try for pregnancy attempts, <laughs> like a lot of them. All right, we've woohooed again. There's a baby upset. So come Catherine and tend to the baby and then Take this pregnancy test. 
Catherine is not pregnant and now Paolo is leaving. Paolo! Oh, well, I guess, I mean, it is kind of. Talk over relationship fears with Paolo the, from the fear of being cheated on. Probably not something you, I mean, you can talk to Paolo about it, but you've been doing some cheating yourself, Catherine, and you also have a whole bunch of kids with a whole bunch of different people too, so there's that. All right, if things with Paolo don't work, we are starting to have a little bit of a romantic relationship with Morgan Fletcher, who is Morgan Fry's. So we can maybe go that route as kind of like a backup plan, be working on both of them. Oh my gosh, Simon is like so close to his potty skill. All right, let's try and have him go potty one more time. And I think that will put him over the edge for his potty skill. And then he can go to sleep. And then when everybody wakes up, then we can age him up into a child. And he did it. Level three. Very good. So when he wakes up, or when everybody wakes up in the morning, he can age into a child. All right, so we made it to Saturday morning, and I think we're going to go ahead and invite Paolo, Paolo over again. We're going to keep trying for baby, hopefully have a successful pregnancy with Catherine. All right, so Trevor has come up to Catherine and said, Sometimes I get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even... So Trevor's a werewolf. So I feel like how Catherine answers this question might be kind of important. I think that since he's a werewolf, she would probably tell him to do a workout to kind of help get some of that out and kind of keep that wolfy nature of his like under control. I, I think that it would go something along those lines. All right, so Catherine wants to talk to Paolo about relationship fears. So let's see if we can find that. Catherine is going to come in and talk to Paolo about her relationship fears, which is kind of ironic given that he's married and messing around with Catherine. So Catherine put herself forward and opened a line of communication, but the problems aren't over. Maybe another day of communicating her worries will finally help her overcome her fears. So that didn't, wait, that didn't go away? Oh my gosh, she still has a fear of being cheated on and the fear of unfulfilled dreams. Awesome. How about we take care of that and have you go try for a baby? Let's have Trevor come and make a birthday cake since Autumn is in working on her charisma skill and Simon is waking up and is hungry and we want to age him up into a child. Oh no, he's angry because he had a, a yucky dream. Simon dreamed about eating vegetables. I'm sorry, Simon. That does seem like a yucky dream. Kind of cute. What's funny is he had that dream and then I'm like sending him to eat salad. Catherine's in here woohooing. Meanwhile, Trevor is like making a birthday cake to help his brother age up. <laughs> Simon is going to age into a child while Catherine woohoos. Oh, she's done now. Okay. Well, we can go. Let's go take a pregnancy test. And then Simon will age up into a child. Oh my gosh, Catherine has tried for a baby a few times without success now. It may be time to have each partner's fertility checked or consider other options if there are fertility issues. So we have the pregnancy overhaul mod installed, which means that there is a fertility component to it. But it also allows for alternative pregnancy options. So I think we might see about that. Let's see. Discuss opting for artificial insemination. I think the problem could be Paolo, because God knows Catherine's had plenty of kids. All right. Simon has aged up, and so we are going to once again use our handy dandy random number generator to generate his childhood aspiration. So we're generating between one and four, and you got a two, which is mental. So Simon is a whiz kid. And then Simon's trait will be genius. I mean, that actually kind of fits. A whiz kid and a genius. So go Simon. All right. So meanwhile, Catherine is talking to Paolo about artificial insemination. And so Catherine asked Paolo if they could try artificial insemination to get a baby. Ooh, we're going to say Paolo's totally on board. He's married, but he's trying artificial insemination with this other woman. So, I mean, that's, that's fun. Attempt artificial insemination. We're going to go with the highest chance of artificial insemination. And yeah, we're going to we're going to pick our partner cuz we want it to be Paolo. I love the, the like all right, 
This could definitely be something that is kind of cheaty with the 100 baby challenge, but since we've already, like, developed the relationship with Paolo, we've tried for baby multiple times with Paolo. Everything is done. Catherine's just not getting pregnant, which is coming from the mod. We're not going to consider it cheating to do this. So Catherine is going to go try artificial insemination. And while she does that, I think we will give Simon uh, a little makeover. And then we can take a closer look at him in Cass. All right, so here is Simon, our merperson child. He is really cute. I think he looks really cute. So here's Simon, all aged up into a child. All right, and Catherine has gone off to try for some artificial insemination with Paolo. And look at that. Simon already, like, right off the bat is sitting here doing his homework. He hasn't even, like, started school yet, and he's already working on his homework. What a good little, little guy. This is, like, a very occult-heavy house. <laughs> We've got werewolves and mer people. All right, Catherine is back with from her insemination attempt. So we've got, will I be pregnant? Hopefully the insemination worked. So let's have Catherine, well, here, you can come and tend to the child. But then let's have her come and take a pregnancy test and we'll see if the artificial insemination with Paolo worked. And it did work. Catherine is pregnant and eating for two. So finally, Catherine is pregnant again. All right, we did it. Yay. Good job, Catherine. And I guess with that, we can invite over Morgan and have Catherine start, start working in on the next baby donor. One baby donor down. Paolo was not... Um, Paolo took some effort and money and... But Catherine is now officially inseminated with Paolo's child. Catherine is, like, working on, you know, the next baby donor with Morgan. And, like, Trevor is just kind of standing here, like, observing the whole thing. And Trevor is a gloomy sim, so he's, like, uncomfortable about things. He's feeling kind of angry because he's been hurt by somebody. Uh, he's feeling guilty because he played chess with his brother. And he's overthinking things. So, like, Trevor's... Trevor, why don't you come play a video game? Catherine might have a lot of children, but she is a pretty good mom. So she's spending a little bit of time reading a book to Simon because he really wants to spend time reading with her. So that's something that she's doing, which he really appreciates and is really meaningful for her as well. The Romance Festival is in town. And I actually think we're going to take Catherine and go to the Romance Festival. Maybe we'll bring Morgan as well. This has the potential for causing some drama because there's definitely romantic relationships that Catherine is still in that if they encounter her could kind of be a little bit of a problem. So this could get kind of interesting. We'll see how uh, the Romance Festival with Morgan goes. Well, we can do a first kiss, so why don't we just, like, get this romance festival started off with a first kiss? And it is successful. Very good, very good first kiss. Catherine does have the fear of unfulfilled dreams, so let's see if we can discuss our fears with Morgan. Okay, Catherine can. So Catherine's gonna discuss her fears with Morgan, and then she's gonna come and pour- they're gonna pour some Sakura tea together. Catherine's not wasting any time getting the next baby donor <laughs> lined up. So, you know, pregnant. Here we are at the romance festival, romancing away. I think we're going to have Catherine come and consult the romance guru. All right, so we're going to see what she has to say. All right, we're talking about flowers. Some woohoo. I mean, Catherine does know a little bit about that. Love is often found in the place you least expect to look. Okay. I was kind of, I was halfway expecting the relation, the romance guru to like say something very snide about Catherine's relationships because let's be honest, she's had a few of them. All right. So everyone is like feeling super, except for Catherine, who's feeling confident. But I guess romance is kind of right up her alley. Like she really hasn't ever 
like had too much of a problem developing the romantic relationships and getting pregnant that's been a whole other story but the relationship part she's not had too difficult of a time so maybe she's just she's feeling confident because she feels like she's got this romance under control and she's gonna like throw some petals with at morgan oh we'll describe a flirty dream about morgan oh my goodness so romancing Morgan is is going well. So we'll have her lined up for the next baby donor. I think Catherine though does need to come over and order some food. We'll ever get some ramen. She's kind of hungry. So we'll get some food. Now with Catherine having 12 days left until she's an elder, I'm thinking that we may only so I think Morgan and then we might have time for her to have like one other baby donor. And actually, while Catherine is here, she has met Ka Cassandra Goth, who is now Cassandra Ito, married to Kiyoshi Ito. Oh, Catherine finds Cassandra annoying, but Cassandra thinks that Catherine is an interesting sim. I mean, Catherine is definitely an interesting sim. <laughs> that is true. All right, it is. it has gotten a little bit late. We've had some good romantic interactions with this is happening again i'm not sure what they're doing i mean good for them okay so we had some good romantic interactions with morgan but i think we'll send Catherine home uh to check on the kids it is getting kind of late the teenagers are still kind of young and so she's not feeling awesome about leaving them home alone for a real long time so she's gonna head back home and check on these kids and apparently it's a good thing she did because the teenagers are, like, not okay. I don't know why you guys can't take care of yourselves. You're teenagers. You should be able to do a little bit better than this. Like, the child is doing better. He's, like, playing on the computer. The others are, like, can't even function. The babies are okay. Why is it the teenagers were the ones that, like, were a mess? <laughs> oh, no. Trevor's fury is going up. He's starting to have, like, some fury happening. Which is probably going to mean he's going to be transforming into a werewolf. It is a new moon at least, so we don't have like the full moon effects happening, but Trevor might be really close to his transformation. Autumn is getting there as well, so we could have a couple of rampaging teenagers and oh my goodness, this is going to be rough when that happens because they have a tendency to like scratch up stuff. Okay, and it is Tessa and Gregory's birthdays. It's the middle of the night though, so we'll let Catherine get some sleep before we age them up into toddlers and start that whole uh, fiasco of toddlerhood. The teenagers are definitely outside working on school projects at 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, why not? It's the 100 baby challenge. Stranger things have happened. Simon has finished his homework also at 2 o'clock in the morning. No, but why is nobody tired? Why is Catherine the only one tired? What have you guys been doing? Okay, so it is morning, so we're going to have Catherine come in and age up the twins into toddlers. So we're going to start with Tessa, who's asleep, but it's okay. We're going to wake Tessa up anyway. <laughs> and we're going to age up Tessa, and then we are going to age up Gregory. All right, so Tessa's aged up, so we're going to randomize for Tessa's toddler trait. And Tessa is clingy! Oh boy! <laughs> Yay, a clingy toddler. Awesome. We love that. We really don't love that at all. Next, we're going to age up Gregory. And Gregory is a charmer. So we have Clingy and a charmer. I don't think we have gotten a single independent toddler this whole challenge. I think they have all been, like, charmers. I feel like we've gotten a lot of charmers. I, I do want to give them makeovers. So we're going to jump into Cass and take a look at Gregory and Tessa and give them some little makeovers. And see if they're mer people. Oh, Tessa is not a mer person, but Gregory is. Gregory is kind of orange. All right. All right, let's give them some makeovers and see how they look. All right, so here we have a Tessa, who is our clingy toddler. Wish us luck. <laughs> and then this is Gregory, who is a charmer. And Gregory is also a mer person. It is a Sunday, so we have another day at home with all of the kids they don't have school today and not that anybody would really be aging up anyway because they haven't been to school yet so we haven't even had a chance to like get anybody to that point to be ready oh and goodness gracious Catherine's hysterical again 
Oh, no, wait, don't make a silly face. Calm down. This woman is constantly hysterical. She's almost in her second trimester. And poor Tessa is like the only Nana call in the house. She's going to probably feel a little bit left out. But Gregory and Simon are both mer people, so they have that in common between them. For some reason, Gregory has come into the bathroom to play with the Wabbit tablet. I don't know if like his inner mer person is like calling to the water of the bathroom, but here he is. Oh, it looks like Autumn is starting to be a little bit enraged as well. Since it is a Sunday, one of the things that we'll definitely need to get the kids doing is their homework, so that at the very least, they will all have their homework done before school. And of course, Simon, little genius boy that he is, has already finished his homework. The toddlers just seem to like be migrating around, like talking to each other. It's kind of cute. I think we could also be getting kind of close to rampaging teenage werewolves as well. All right, Autumn just completed her extra credit project. So that will help her and her grades. And Autumn is pretty much ready to head off to school. Uh, Trevor is working on his homework. He needs to get a skill to level three. And then, and he's also going to come and finish working on his school project. So it seems like Autumn is maybe having a little bit of like a identity crisis, perhaps because she's starting to realize that she's a werewolf. And she says, I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. All of my friends seem to have it figured out. How do I figure it out for myself? And I think Catherine's not going to tell her to study for a high paying job. And I think, though, she'll probably say, you don't need to worry. You've got time. It's all right. You just became a teenager. You have plenty of time to figure this out. You're a werewolf. It definitely makes things a little bit more complicated. <laughs> and Trevor has also finished his extra credit work. He might be very close to transforming into a werewolf, but he finished his work. So we are kind of coming to an end on Sunday. All of the kids are really in a good place to head to school in the morning and get their first days of school started because it really is that for all three of them. The toddlers are sleeping nicely. Catherine is in her second trimester with this latest pregnancy. And so I think we're going to end the episode here. The need to use Apollo is for, with like artificial insemination was a little bit unexpected. I thought that we'd actually be able to get pregnant with him, uh, but that didn't work out that way. And since it was the mod that was making it so that Catherine couldn't get pregnant, I thought it was okay to use the mod to get Catherine pregnant. They still had done everything that they needed to do to like meet relationship requirements, so it wasn't like a cheat in that way. So I think that it works. I mean, it's not that different than like having it be the way that we impregnated Catherine with Paka Oz kid. So it's fine. I mean, is it cheating? Maybe, but I don't really care. Paolo, it was Paolo. Paolo is impregnated Catherine and the next child will be on the way in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.